All right, here's my brand new Spectrum DX7S, and uh, for the most part, it's been pretty good um, as far as I've gotten it. Uh, this post is to try to diagnose my problems that I have right now. I've been working on this for several weeks and uh, getting a little frustrated, so I'm hoping people can help. I've got the multi Wii with the satellite on top. That's a little homemade platform there that I've made. I've got uh, the Turnigy Plus. Uh, 25 amp uh, ESCs, and then for my motors, I've got the also Turnigy. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'll write it all down. It's a D2836. And um, coming back to here, you can see uh, these go from my uh, receiver there. They plug into the board, and uh, over here I got my my ESCs plugged into the board right there as well. I had these backwards at the beginning and uh, it didn't work so of course I put them the right way. Uh, of course I have a hexacopter so every second engine is uh, it goes in reverse and what I did over here where you see my nice tape job I, uh, I flipped the wires over so uh, now these spin in reverse. I figured that much out and um, but the problem I'm having right now is the speed on my motors aren't consistent and it's interesting because every second one is slower so it's like three of them are slower than out of the six and I'm going to show you that right now I'm going to fire up, well, first I'm going to plug this in right here, sorry for the jerky video I'm using one hand to do this and I'm plugging in that, I've got some lights there I'm using an iPhone to videotape this so all right, now I'm going over to my computer and firing this up, connecting, and real-time data. And it's kind of interesting because my motors don't light up um, or anything like that, which I thought they should. It's going to get satellites in a minute. I've opened the the, uh, the blinds, so usually it picks up a satellite pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to turn on my uh, my DX7 here <clears throat> and uh, I got it to bind so that's good so now if we go up here you can see the throttle works those all seem to work and I think they all go the right way uh, except roll when I push right it goes left when I push left it goes right um, that's one of the things I'm wondering about okay so now I'm going to plug the battery in. I think those beeps are good. Sometimes I get a continuous beep, 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 beep. I don't think that's good. So now to arm, I've got it set up for throttle. I go down, left, and it arms. So yay! I'm so happy about that because I struggled with that for so long. So that works. But now I give it a little throttle. And notice the engines. And um, at first, three of the engines didn't work at all. And then I increased the uh, minimum speed, I think, and now they kind of do. But see? And you're probably thinking, well, did you calibrate your ESCs? I'm just going to shut that off now. And the answer is yes, I did calibrate my ESCs. I did them the trick where you do them all at once. And I did the trick where you do them one at a time after that when that didn't seem to work. And uh, it seemed to work when I calibrated them, but then I plugged it in here uh, after I hooked it all back up again and didn't seem to make any difference. Uh, I'm going to post my config H file. I'm going to post all the components I'm using, uh, take some pictures. I'm going to post it all so you have an even better idea of what, I'm, what I've done. And I'm really hoping somebody can tell me, oh, you silly, um, you just should have done this uh, in your config file or your wiring or something like that. I'm guessing it's wiring or my ESCs, but uh, yeah, I don't know anymore. So your help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.